Thank you very much, uh, Chairman. Thank you also very much for the audience to have the chance to presenting here a joint work between OMBEC Technology and NORMAT. Is there an off-sprayed concrete applied in here? Or is there too much sprayed concrete applied? I'm pretty sure you are here in the audience, many of you, you asked this question several of times in the sites. Um, OMBEC and NORMAT wanted to get a focus in how we can combine a standard successful surveying solution into a machine to make it apl applicable and operatable by everyone in, in on the site. So on that occasion, OMBEG and NORMAT worked together, but also we needed contractor sites where we can do work with it. And that was YIT and Karl Karl Lioro Rakanus from Finland, both were involved. Good. What was actually the motivation from our side? On one side, it's the cost. Sprayed concrete is still uh, a lot of cost to investigate, and we two company believe that there is a lot of investigation possibility to save the money in using the concrete. Safety, um, a complete knowledge about the how much thickness is applied, it's essential. Two days method can measure discrete points, and you interpolate between discrete points measurement into a rather sphere. And with this system, we try to have a complete coverage to make the tunnel also more safer. And then last but not least, also the process to use scanning technologies or the order to use the same measurement also for accounting and also rebound, for example. And simplicity is a big issue where the motivation comes from. From the market, um, having an, a standalone solution integrating into machine, and here you see one picture how it was working, um, that the nozzle man can operate it in the cell. So you don't need any expert to work on that part. Good. How are these things are done today, uh, methods? I'm pretty sure you know all these kind of methods. Here you can start the movie. Um, I mean, manual drilling is a very common um, point, uh, measurement. So you do the drilling and then you, you measure the distance of it. This picture is also, you keep in mind that white sphere because you will see later on also a result from our system then. Placing iron stick is also put, placing uh, the iron stick, spray it until you don't see it. Knife in non-hearted system, it's still also where we're quite often done, but then it means you have to go to a non-hearted and non-safe um, area in the tunnel. And also for sure, a lot of educational programs, certification, FNARC is working on that. And also we're having some nice simulators coming out or has been released and you can train your short grid ablator. But which tells you now how much of your applied short grid is really on the wall? And all of these methods, having these three weaknesses mainly, it's a safety and it's a coverage and a time consuming. Coverage, I already mentioned that. If you do the manual drilling, you only know it in the discrete points. And sometimes you do manual drilling 50 to 250 square meter. And you have to interpolate between these discrete points what is in between. But you don't know what is in the real between. With laser scanning today, you can easily have this in two by two centimeters. And then you have a much more other uh, coverage to talk. And it's a safety issue. You want to know how much uh, concrete you applied on that. Because if it's less, then it's a potential risk that you can have risking downfalls. And at the end of the day, the person is a risk down there. And all of these methods you see here, it's very time consuming. So they're not is as a part um, or as the short grid cycle is covered in there. Good. So how does our system looks like? Um, this is a little animation. I mean, it's pretty sure once the machine moves in, you can choose either on a navigation mode, on a non-navigation mode. This is now showing the non-navigation mode where the measuring system can be placed in front below the, the nozzle man. It does a profiling before spraying. Then the spraying has happened. We cover it um, so that, that the measuring the instrument is not get blocked. You spray, after spraying, you do a profiling again, and then you do a direct in close to real-time evaluation in measurement against measurement. And then you can choose, either you look at the data in a view like that on a tablet software, ruggedized, easy uh, to represent, every square meter represents here an average value. Or you can look at um, differently in profile, cuts through your tunnel, or last but not least, the latest version, you can also look directly in real 3D. And this is now possible close to real time and directly. And there's also the important part. If it's yet possible, directly the nozzle man can touch in the touch screen and then a red laser shows it how on the wall we sprayed too less or too much. In that case, in the production mode, you're more interested in where we sprayed too less. 
And then this one, it's directly in the same spraying cycle. You can then do the corrections. You don't have to move the machine in another place, so you can still keep the machine in the same place and you do the corrections in the spraying. And last but not least, it's also a powerful post-processing engine behind. Once you do your measurement, your result in the tunnel, you can use it later on for quality documentation in 3D. Very important in these days as the complex uh, tunnel geometry gets more and more beam 3D geometry are used. Here we have functionality in 3D or documented in 2D. Good. I want to give you also some impression of the sites we have tested it. I mean, uh, these are finished sites in Lanzi Metro where we now see the positions of the instruments. And the very good thing, um, this is now we tested on that project, the navigation mode. So we used two placing of the instrument. One placing in the rear where the concrete is filled in is better that, that you can have the, the, the connection of the absolute points. There you can see more contour points that which is used to have the machine navigated and oriented. Then you can move Move the total stage of the instrument to the front position and then you could do your scanning. It works with two instruments, you can have one instrument and you can have different choose of instrument what you want to have. Then during the spraying a cover comes over and then you do the spraying. Good. Some results from the site and now it's maybe interesting, um, you, you remember the white uh, square from the first slide. This is now the square, I'm not sure how good you can see, but this is the square where the site wants to see what quality accuracy we can reach with our system, an indirect measurement system, compared to the direct measurement system. And this was dependent to, uh, important in the process that the contractor believes that the accuracy you can reach is there. And that was the case that you have here, the correlates between manual drilling and, and the measuring here up to six, eight millimeters accuracy. And also, where the nozzle man, where we showed the result, they were quite shocked or interested because the color table shows you here eight centimeters of shot grid had to be applied. Now you see uh, this is green and blue lines. Everything yellow and red or purple, it's too much or too less. And now when we come back, purple means up to 15 centimeters of too much spray. It's already quite a lot of shot grid. And there, there is the potential of the cost saving where, where this system can have on the site. Good. The main achievement to summarize my presentation, it's important to have solutions that you can have. In the past, it wasn't possible to measuring uh, and then also evaluate the data in a long period. Today, we have technology where a lot of millions of points can be post-processed direct on incluent and, and comprehensive algorithm on a tablet and you directly have to represent the data in the field on the part. And you have the complete information. This is a big safety issue. And then, um, these are the other options, correction in the same cycle, uh, spray cycle and the cost saving, operating by the nozzle man, simplicity, and I will now start a little movie and, and conclude uh, a, a bit more on that part. The very good thing, this movie shows now our um, solution, how it is working in standalone over the years in many of the sites. And what we have done in the, in the project, we brought the technology onto the machine and make it now also make an adaption of the software that th th this works with several different hardware types. So you can choose on the customer side between a total station where we have one measurement per second, a multi-station 1000 measurement per second or a laser scanner one million per measurement per second. This is the range what we can offer and you can choose pick the right instrument which is the site for you. And this is the segmentation and the flexibility of the system and you can also use it on every machine you want to put. The only thing you have to add, it's existing surveying technology you already use on the site. You can use it uh, and add an adapter to plug it in, uh, in in a spray mobile and then also the software which is needed. This is now especially the part when we, we do for sure laser scanning and then comparing against design but also measurement against measurement before spraying and after spraying and then you see the corrections and important is also that we can get direct the feedback where we spray to less and not that we have to use a lot of time to get this information. I think we can skip that and I'm now on the last slide and is this the innovation of the year? I don't know but uh, we will see it tonight and I want on this stage uh, really thanks the the, uh, the judges the, that we have the chance to uh, present that work and also you and the audience and enjoy the day in Hagerbach. Thank you very much. <laughs>